just like in exponential growth and decay, do you remember a lot of the time you had to show that this, like frequently the first part of a question was, please show me that this satisfies the differential equation. Because that's, this is what makes simple harmonic, sorry, this is what makes natural growth and decay, natural growth and decay. In the same way, this is what makes simple harmonic motion, simple harmonic motion. So what they're asking for in this first part is differentiate to find um, your velocity function and your acceleration function and show that. Basically this for particular values of n and particular values of b. So let's just quickly rehearse this. this part's not hard, okay? I'm going to go, they've mixed together v and next double dot, I don't know why, but I'm going to go with consistency. Differentiate once, which gives you... Pause, cause, Very good, yeah. That is what I was about to say before Mincy beat me to the punch, okay? I differentiate again, which gives me... Okay. Now, do know they've given you the result, right? You know where you're going to go. So I think you, the burden is on us to make sure we show every single step. So I'm going to take out a factor of, what factor should I take out? Negative pi squared. Negative pi squared. Once you do that, here you've got, well, you, <coughs> too many pi's, right? So you've got to factor out that 4 on pi, right? And then what you get left with, you can see, that's my x, that's my displacement function. Wait, so did you forget to write pi squared in the first line? Uh, yep. Okay, wait, no. No, wait, what? No, 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 I got it right. Because it's four, it's four. One of the, the on pi has disappeared because I multiplied by pi once. And then a second pi has disappeared from four to four pi. There's no pi, there's no four pi there to make it four pi squared. There's a four and it turns into a four pi. Yeah, okay, hooray. All right. We're fine? Part B. Amplitude, period, center of motion. Okay? So remember what each of these are. Amplitude. Where does amplitude come from? Where is it defined? Amplitude is just the coefficient of whatever sine, cosine, whatever wave function you've got in um, your displacement function. So therefore, the amplitude I would just read as 4 on pi. But by the way, uh, we have units. Units have been provided to us. They're meters, right? OK, cool. Um, they could just as easily have asked, and I'm not sure if they ask it later on. No, they don't. They could just as easily have asked for the extremes of motion, um, for which your answer would be very, very slightly different. What would you say if you were asked for the extremes of motion? You'd say. 4 on pi and negative 4 on pi, they're the actual <laughs> two extremes, because there's two of them. What were the other two things they asked for? Period and center of motion. Period and center of motion. Okay, so period equals. All right. How do I get period out of this? Okay, so you can either remember, all right, the period of any trig function is just going to be 2 pi on n wherever n's your coefficient of that. If you find that a bit confusing, because people often will do n on 2 pi or they don't know which to divide, I just think back to simple examples. Think back to first principles. So everyone knows what the period of this is. Okay. So when you introduce something like this, and you've seen this 100,000 times, right? tell me in comparison to the original what this looks like. It's, it's been squashed. It's more frequent, right? So you're like, OK, I've gone from 2 pi here to pi. So clearly, I'm dividing through by this. In fact, a nice way to think about it is this is sine 1x, right? Whatever that coefficient is, is how many cycles of your full thing that you get in 2 pi, right? So for example, if I saw sine of, you know, whatever, 100x, that means I've got 100 full cycles from 0 to 2 pi, right? So how many full cycles do I have here? From, from 0 to 2 pi, right, I've got pi cycles. That's a bit weird because this is trying to get us away from having pi in our units, right? So I'm going to go back to how to get that number is 2 pi on n, which is pi. Okay. So the period is 2 seconds. Does that make sense? I should say seconds as well. Um, I would tend to answer with a unit. Yeah, the amplitude is meters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, the center of motion. We can just state this, right? The center is x equals zero. Okay, it's the origin. Yep. <laughs>